Golden Dalir, this is Mr. Sir Raven with another commentary. Now before I start this, I'm going to preface with this. If you are a brony, that is fine. If you want to watch My Little Pony, then fine. Not all bronies are like who I will be showing today, nor do they all follow the negative stereotypes. We good on that? Okay. Now as for today's subject, just, just guess. Wait, stop. Not only do we have ourselves a text video, because those are definitely the best thing to use, but it's using some online game to do it? Wow. Windows Movie Maker text videos eat your heart out. You have been replaced for the title of lazy text video making tool. Thanks to the warning from his game, he got cut off right there. See, this is why you don't use online games for a text video. What he said, though, was that he's making a video on the bronies and the brony haters. Spoilers! He praises the bronies and looks down upon the, quote, brony haters. So I'm just going to skip him praising the bronies and get him to talking about the brony haters. Because there are many cases of bronies obsessing over the show and parading it around like it's a badge of honor, even though it's just watching a fucking show. There's a lot of sexual deviancy that's fairly prominent, and also they take any small dissenting criticism to the extreme and will whine and moan and bitch about it. Not all bronies do this, but to those that are bronies, I'm sure you are well aware that there are members like this in your fan base. Yeah, it couldn't be for any of the reasons I just mentioned. No, it's because we think that they're weird. Because apparently it's still 1955 and not 2013. So bronies have been ignoring all the hate that they get. Then why are you making a video on this? You just blatantly contradicted yourself. Wow! You realize that ignoring it means not making a fucking video about it, right? Apparently, you don't know what the word ignore means. Make you laugh. My dad wore this face in old photographs. Calico cats out scare me from behind a junkyard fence. I don't kinda let my stare go soft, but pretend it's not. When I'm high, I tie my bottom teeth and look at the sidewalk in front of me as my tennis shoes go in and out of the frame. Another slew footed empty wire. But you just said that the bronies are ignoring the haters. But here you are complaining about the haters. I know this word has been used to death, but hypocrite correctly defines what you are. Walking on goose eggs in the mission. Swap me brown 31 fishnet hat cock to the right. I only played chess once in my life and I lost. It's really sad that people still to this day do not realize that saying to leave something alone on the internet is probably the most counterintuitive thing to say. If you want something to be left alone, then don't put it up on the internet. Anything that you put up, you should be aware of the risks that are involved. So let me get this straight, bronies ignore the haters, yet if people don't leave them alone, they're going to treat others badly back. Do you not see the problem with your logic? Oh, and by the way, I'm probably betting that a good majority of the hate that they're getting are from trolls. You know, people who pick on others just to get a rise out of them. The sky for under. Sorry, what was that about bronies ignoring the haters again? Looks like a sky for Anyone 
anyone who agreed with this guy. Please learn something called practice what you preach. You tell people to keep their opinions to themselves when you obviously don't display it here. You tell people not to bother people for liking a show, yet you think it's justifiable to bother people who don't like it. Yet, people like this guy wonder why there are people that hate bronies. Aside from trolls who are doing it just to get a rise out of you, people don't like bronies because of stuff like this. Most people, I think, would honestly be okay with the fan base if there weren't so many members that constantly display zealous ideals, hypersensitivity to dissent, blatant hypocrisy, and spraying their shit around like cholera. No, not all bronies are like this, and I feel sorry for the bronies who don't act like cheese gaming work because they have to put up with the others who have to ruin it for everyone. At 3 minutes and 47 seconds, we finished the video. So to end this video, I would like to have someone who likes the show, and I guess you can call him a brony if you wanted to, to give a stance toward this guy and the bronies in general. Alright, so the fandom itself is broken up, and sure, every fandom has rabid fans, and we're no exception, but they just need to they just need to calm down, not deal with it. They're feeding the trolls. Number one rule, don't feed the trolls. And they're kind of obvious, and really, the term haters is meaningless. Anything can have a hater. The color purple, the movie, not just not, not and the color purple itself could have haters, but it doesn't really, it's, it's meaningless. And really, if you say that you're being chill and you don't care, and yet you're talking about the haters, and once again, the indifference fallacy. You just ignore it. There is no need to be upset. Anyways, that's about it for my first and hopefully last commentary I ever do on Bronies directly. All I'm going to sum up about my thoughts on this guy is this. He's very contradictory, he lacks critical thinking, and he's only making his fan base worse. So until next time, this has been Mr. Raven saying bless and chop, 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 chop.